really. I mean, believers in God do not think there's a material world. And in addition, we've got this other complicated thing, God. We do not think that. I don't think that. I think there is God, the supreme mind, knowing uh, and uh, um, creating and enjoying a universe, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the ultimate reality. And there couldn't be any physical reality at all without that. And I think that's uh, just a position that maybe some people have forgotten or lost or rejected uh, and just said, no, the physical can exist on its own. There's no problem about that. So I think that's where the debate really goes down to. I would seriously say I do not think any physical thing can exist on its own. I think that it has to be a content of consciousness. <laughs> and, of course, you... So then the argument would shift away from evolution, but uh, but if you say that, then if, you, if that's where you're starting from, then you see the evolutionary process as a way in which consciousness is producing something different, in, in which I would think a supreme consciousness, God, is producing other finite consciousnesses which can have share something of the life of God. So from a Christian point of view, you know, the evolutionary system fits in with that view of God, the supreme consciousness, creating other consciousness to share its life. It can, so that's how it would go. It's not that you look at the material world and you say, oh, but there might be an extra bit. <laughs> that's not the way you look at it. You have to start from a very different position that mind is the ultimate reality.